In today's video, I am going to be continuing my sulfonylamide synthesis. We have already turned the benzene into nitrobenzene, so our next step is to reduce the nitrobenzene and turn it into aniline. I did try and make aniline, but it just doesn't work with powdered zinc nor with zinc granules. Using powdered zinc leads for runaway infection, and even if I cool it, I end up with a dark sludge that is impossible to work with for me. So, I decided to skip a step and to just buy aniline from a chemical company. If you have any ideas on what to do with aniline, feel free to leave a comment. To get started, I added 50ml of glacial acetic acid to a 500ml round bottom flask. It is then followed by 50ml of acetic anhydride. 50 milliliters of aniline is then slowly added to the mixture. This is very exothermic. I attached a condenser to the flask to set it up for reflux. It is then refluxed for 2 hours. The reaction happening here is called an acetylation reaction. The nucleophilic nitrogen from the aniline attacks one of the carbonyl on the acetic anhydride. Electrons from the carbon then get pushed up to the oxygen. This forms a tetrahedral intermediate, which produces our desired acetanolite and also acetic acid as a side product. After the reflux, I poured the contents of the flask into 1 liter of cold water while it is still hot. This will immediately precipitate out the acetanolite. There was one big solid chunk at the bottom, so I broke it up with a spatula. I then vacuum filtered the acetanolite to separate it and transferred it to a 500ml beaker. I will then purify the crude product by recrystallization. I did this by pouring 200 milliliters of water to the beaker and also added some ethanol. I then heated the solution until it becomes clear. When it became clear, I noticed there was a small layer of what appears to be unreacted aniline. A simple and quick way to separate the unreacted aniline is to decant the top acetanolite solution. While doing this, I had thought that maybe the unreacted aniline can be separated by filtering it. It did not work at all as the acetanolite crystallized out of solution and I also saw that the aniline was passing through the filter. The decanted acetanolite solution is then left to cool in the refrigerator for a few hours. After cooling, you can see a lot of acetanolite crystals. The acetanolite was then filtered and washed with cold water. I then dried the pure acetanolite on a drying dish in the oven for a few hours. I then measured the yield of acetanolite. The yield came to be low at 28.8 grams with a percentage of 38.52%. The yield could be improved if the reflux was allowed to continue overnight and if I also had not tried to filter the solution. Anyways, that is it for today's video and I'll see you in my next one. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel.